I'd now like to welcome on stage uh, Mr. Michael Clements, the president of the Association of Racehorse Trainers Singapore, commonly known as Arts, to present our next two prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michael Clements. Um, and we've got a couple of categories now uh, to, uh, to go through here, both the sprinter and the miler. And, uh, well, the sprinter. We've been known for good sprinters here in Singapore, and I guess the standout very much uh, is the great Rocket Man, but we've had some very good ones down through the years. And as I touched upon earlier on, we had our very first run at the Royal Meeting uh, over in Ascot this year, and that came courtesy of Lim's Cruiser, who's won two Lion City Cups. So I think it goes some way to say that we're pretty good with sprinters uh, here in Singapore. Let's now have a look at the nominations then for the 2019 Champion Sprinter. The nominees for Champion Sprinter. Guanjun Duan Tu Ma. Aramco, Aramco has won the Lion City Cup from Di Guilin. Bold Thruster is going to do it. Bold Thruster. Bold Thruster. Hong Pai Dong Li. Constant Justice wins the New Year Cup. Constant Justice. Chuang Li Duo. Count of Monte Cristo. Can he break through for a win? Count of Monte Cristo. Kuai Yi En Chou. Lim's Cruiser and Aramco have raced to the lead together. Lim's Cruiser. Lin Jia Yu Lun. A really good uh, lineup for this prize. And this prize this year has been won by a horse who has broken through uh, for a trainer who, uh, for so long, uh, was unheralded and certainly uh, progressing at a rate of knots. But he's really elevated himself now to the, uh, the higher echelon of trainers here in Singapore. He broke through with his very first Group 1 success. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Champion Sprinter Award for 2019, Aramco. Aramco, Aramco has won the Lion City Cup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Shane Birchick then receiving the prize and well, two traders that can actually look each other in the eye here, given their, <laughs> their length. Uh, but Shane Birchiger, very, very well done to you. This was, uh, this was a big win for you uh, on the 25th of May, Aramco winning the Lion City Cup, and uh, a real feather in your cap. Well done. Yeah, thank you. He's, uh, he went undefeated through the year, and uh, he uh, was a very honest horse, and he, you know, Vlad, Vlad was, played a big part in his uh, victories this year, and unfortunately, he's been retired. He, he had an issue after his last win, so... Uh, we might see him back, but uh, not not too hopeful. Oh, that's obviously a, a shame and a little bit of a dampener. But listen, it shouldn't dampen uh, what's been a, a great achievement with this horse because you, you've never lost faith in this horse. You were you were always adamant this was a very good sprinter, and the fact he was able to break through at that that Group One level was obviously testament to, to your ability as a trainer. Yeah, he, he just got better with age, and I think he ended up winning uh, nine or ten races here. And, uh, he, he was a great honest horse, always tried his best, and uh, you know we, we might see him back one day. He is hoping. Listen, he was a credit to you and your team, ably assisted by Scott Bailey and everyone else involved. Shane Birch, give her well done. Thank you. Aram Co. then, ladies and gentlemen, the champion sprinter for 2019. Well, we now move on to uh, the category of the champion miler. And we've seen some very good milers down through the years uh, here in Singapore, that's for sure. Many a good horse has won this award. And it's sort of a distance where I think we are sort of defined. I mean, we're very capable with sprinters, but our milers have done oh so well, obviously, recently. Uh, the likes of Deck Collector has been extremely good. He's a, a very much a, a notable one, but um, the likes of War of Fair, I mean, he, the list goes on and on if you really want to go back through the years. So the Champion Miler Award is up next. Let's have a look at the nominations for the 2019 Champion Miler. The nominees for Champion Miler. Guan Jun Yi Ying Li Ma, Ru Wei De Yo. Yo De Wei. Elite Excalibur grabbing the lead, he's too strong. Elite Excalibur. Sheng Jian. Star Emperor flying natural. and Formally got up Star Emperor. Bie Chu Xin Tai, Qian Ming, Xin Ji Di Huang. They hit the line and Fame Star Mod have just won. Ming Wang Zhi Xin. Makanani Zafir, big finish in the raffles coming through. Makanani. Mei Tong. And what's new comes down to win a three quarters. What's new? Well, there you go, folks. The uh, nominee is for Champion Miler for 2019 here at the Singapore Turf Club. 
and uh, some very, very good horses uh, nominated uh, for sure. Certainly uh, any of them would be very worthy winners indeed. But to the horse that does take this coveted prize for 2019, started the year off uh, with a bang uh, and took on some of the very best that Hong Kong had to offer us in the Kranji Mile uh, and ran them extremely close uh, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion miler for 2019. Please give it up for Blizzard. Lee Friedman then collecting the prize on behalf of the owners of Blizzard, who certainly done the stable very proud throughout the year. And they ran second in that Kranji Mar. That was no mean feat, and he managed to pick up a very nice bonus uh, as well. Um, Lee, very well done. A horse that um, certainly never let you down at, at any juncture. He was very good throughout 2019. Well, he was a revelation here because he, uh, you know, he was a horse who was retired in Hong Kong, and the boys up there decided to send him down here. There was no physical issue why he should be retired. And uh, uh, I think probably his best run was, was probably won him the award in terms of uh, running second in the Cranji Mile. That um, no, was fantastic. Great, great thrill. Certainly was. And he's now gone on to Pastures New. He's, he's had a, a nice retirement. He's gone back to Australia to, uh, to embark upon a, an, an equestrian career, which will be fantastic. He's a lovely horse. and. I, Certainly, well, he done well for you, and you done well by him. Well done. Thank you. Lee Friedman, then, ladies and gentlemen, the trainer of Blizzard, our champion miler for 2019. And I'd now like to invite on stage uh, Ms. Joy Ko, the Vice President of Marketing and Guest Experience at the Singapore Turf Club. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Ms. Joy Ko. And we now move on to uh, a prize uh, for the champion stayer here in Singapore and I guess sometimes stay here in Singapore we probably think of it over a little bit lesser a trip than we do elsewhere but that said Kranji is probably not an easy track to win at and you've got to stay for sure and um, all of the nominations in this category certainly do that extremely well so let's have a look at them now the nominations for the 2019 champion stayer the nominees for champion stayer Guan Jun Chang Tu Ma Ru Wei De Yo does it again, a rising star, I'm incredible. I'm incredible. Tianxia Wu Di. King Louis eating him up, King Louis, photo finish. King Louis, Guo Wang Lu Yi. Mr. Clint, what a week for Craig Williams. Two Mr. Clint. Ke Lin. Sun Marshall, he's won the derby. Sun Marshall. Tai Yang Yuan Shui. They were the nominations for Champion Stair and uh, some uh, stellar performances we've seen throughout the year. And obviously our, our staying category certainly culminates with, uh, with the Singapore Gold Cup. Very much a test uh, of any thoroughbred here at Kranji the, over the 2,000 metres. Um, and, and this uh, award has been won by a very worthy winner indeed. And this horse is owned by a man who's raced horses here uh, in Singapore for a very long time indeed. Very famous colours nowadays. Uh, the yellow and blue spots. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion stayer for 2019. Please give it up, Mr. Clint. But Mr. Clint, what a week for Craig Williams. Two continents, two caps. Well, what an achievement then. Mr. Clint winning the, uh, the champion stayer award. Raced by the Oscar Racing Stable. DK Poor uh, is here and his son Oscar as well, who uh, we love seeing at the race. His brother Eric has, has collected the prize. Very well done to you, Eric. Um, how excited are you to collect this prize? Well, of course, it's very exciting. I think as a then, the trainer and the staff of the stable. Oh. What about the owner? Of course. <laughs> Very well done, Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Poor collecting the prize on behalf of CK Poor, who owns Mr. Clint, the champion stayer for 2019. Very well done to them indeed, and that win in the Gold Cup, a superb one as well. Craig Williams flying over uh, to win the race after winning the Melbourne Cup uh, on Van de Clare. We move on to our final award for an equine, and it is the champion polytrack horse. And, and 
the polytrack racing can be very much a, a specialist sort of discipline, this. Um, and I guess you'd agree, uh, I'm sure you'll agree, that the nominations for this award certainly are those that excel on the surface for sure, hence why they've been nominated. So uh, it's high time we have a look at them. The nominations for the champion polytrack horse. The nominees for champion polytrack horse. Guanjun Sha Di Ma, Ru Wei De You. Constant Justice wins the New Year Cup. Constant Justice. Chuang Li Duo. Count of Monte Cristo. Can he break through for a well-deserved win? Monte Cristo. Kuai Yi En Chou. He has a great go in the Colonial Chief. Maybe Penny Wise to know. Jing Da Xi Suan. Sacred Rebel forging clear over the latter stage. Sacred Rebel. Sheng Kang Shi. Well, the winner of this award, he had to wait until the almost the very last day of the season to uh, win a feature race. But he won a feature race in colors of an owner who plies his trade with racehorses all around the globe and has plenty of sex, uh, success as well. And this horse has been trained by a man who learned his craft under one of the very best here in Singapore, that being Pat Shaw. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion polytrack horse, please a big round of applause for Pennywise. Colonial Chief, maybe Pennywise and I. Well, Ricardo Lagrange is, is making his way to the stage and he will collect the prize on behalf of Bernard Cantor, who owns this horse. And Bernard, who uh, owns horses all around the world and has got some nice ones here in Singapore with Ricardo and, and formerly Pat Shaw and has, has got the, uh, the prize here this evening. Um, Ricardo, very well done. Um, this horse who, who really came good at the, the end of the year. And, and I must say, first off, an apology, because I doubted him staying the mile, but you proved me wrong. Well done. No, thank you. Um, and obviously to Bernard. Um, uh, he's, he's won many awards through the years in Singapore, Palace Line, Falstaff. And uh, he means a lot to him, this horse. Uh, I just wish he would, he would go on the grass for us, but... Uh, uh, he's done. He's done a great job, and um, let's just hope and see what happens. Got three poly track features you can aim for all year, so it doesn't make it too hard. Exactly. Thank you. Cheers. Well done to Ricardo Lagrange and the winning trainer Pennywise, who wins the champion poly track course for 2019.